off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Pretty exciting uh, first couple of minutes. You sit there, you, everybody's really uh, kind of rested and peaceful, and then towards the very end, you start cranking, getting things going, and uh, you can you can tell you're going. Uh, as soon as those SRBs light, uh, you know you're going somewhere in a hurry. Speaking of the solids, you get up to about 150,000 feet. Solids are, the propellant's completely gone, so you want to get rid of that extra weight in those canisters. So those canisters come off, like I say, about 150, and you continue on uphill. For another couple of minutes, about Mach 13, about 300 plus thousand feet, you finally get to the point where you do a roll to heads up where you start bouncing your communication signals instead of back off the ground you bounce them off of satellites and this is what's taking place right here as we roll the heads up and then eight and a half minutes after it starts the engines cut off and then you separate from the external tank and you are there you go from a light blue at launch and eventually it just sort of fades to black and it gets darker and it's just a miraculous thing to watch as you get up and uh, start looking, you know, looking out the window at the blackness of space. And then right after we got right out, we pulled out a camera just to show each other in our orange suits. Eventually we open those payload bay doors so we can start cooling the vehicle down. And we have to do a couple of burns to circularize our orbit. And you can see a uh, fire off these burns. And you'll see those ohms into orbital maneuvering system engines in the back just glowing brightly. Just a beautiful, beautiful sight. Meanwhile, down on the mid deck, uh, we're kind of chaos down here, getting out of our orange suits and uh, putting everything away. You can see we just have bags everywhere for a while until we get everything stowed back where it needs to go. I'm kind of lost down here underneath this. Uh, piece of equipment. Bobby's playing with a drink bag there, getting out some checklists. This is flight day two now. We're actually getting ready to inspect the vehicle's tiles to make sure we didn't have any damage during our launch. Good looking butch there. So these guys are pulling out the robotic arm and uh, I don't know why I talk about this because I didn't, I'm the only guy on the crew that wasn't allowed to talk, touch the robotic arm. I was down shaving and here's Butch. He's got the electric version and Randy was exercising. And then we have these uh, big spacewalk suits that we're going to use eventually. We take those out of the airlock, stow them, and of course there's always time for stupid astronaut food tricks. <laughs> Butch needs something to do, so we told him to blow up this football. The uh, third day we're on orbit is, uh, is dedicated to just finding station, getting there, and uh, getting prepped for our spacewalk, which is the next day, so it's a very busy day. Uh, when we launch, the space station is almost three-quarters of the way around the Earth away from us. So we go into lower orbit and catch up to them with, a, uh, with a, our lower orbit being faster. Um, space station just gets bigger and bigger for those full three days to where uh, we rendezvous from up underneath it, do this uh, pitch maneuver, which is really to just expose the underside of our vehicle to see if we had any type of potential uh, thermal protection system damage, and usually it's, it's pretty clean, uh, but it's one last check. Uh, and this is what it looks like coming out the uh, back end of it when we see the uh, station again. We're basically blind on it, of course, as we're uh, underneath it uh, with the tile exposed, uh, but this is the eventual end of that maneuver. Uh, still underneath, uh, we get to within uh, about 500 feet before we transition to directly out in front of it. And this is an inset that actually shows the, uh, the space station and, uh, and our mating interface coming together. And then we'll show you a little cockpit view of the, the very terminal phase here of the, uh, the mating. Ready with the timer? Ready. Got that? Coasting in. Coasting in. 18 inches. Nine inches. Ready? Two inches. Fire. It's the initial contact got captured. Sure. Everything we do is a, is a team effort. It's uh, all individuals working together. It's never just one person. So that's really the, the fun part of it is just working together as a crew. What we were as a crew of six, now once we get to station and get the hatches up, we're now a crew of 12. And most of these guys, we haven't really had a chance to 
work with in training. We train very well together as a group of six. They train as a group of six, and uh, now we're 12 to do this next so part after, of the mission. After docking to the station, we had to uh, get to work with robotics. Uh, here's Butch moving the, we call it the Waffle 1 and Waffle 2. They look like waffle cones, but they have a lot of, uh, about 30,000 pounds of spare parts that we're putting onto the space station. Express Logistics Carrier 1, which attached it to the uh, station, to the truss. And robotics is kind of like playing a big video game. Sometimes you don't have any window views to look out of, especially on the space station side, so you have to do everything with, with camera views. How many video game players are in here? Okay, got quite a few. So you'd be great robotic arm operators. <laughs> but uh, we had to use the arm also to, the, the shuttle arm, to grapple the ELC 1 and 2, and then we take it out of the payload bay. You see it there, lots of spare parts on it. And then we have to hand this off to the station arm, the bigger arm. We call it the SSRMS. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a much bigger arm, much more capable arm than the smaller arm on the shuttle. And here we go. We're grappling. So we're driving the arm into the, uh, to the grapple fixture. And then the, uh, the space station arm goes away, goes into a viewing position. And now we're going to install ELC-2. And it's, uh, it's a very, very tight tolerances, very difficult times. And uh, it was a, very, a lot of fun. We did want to take an opportunity to give you a little tour of the inside of the station. This is obviously video that sped up uh, quite a bit, a little shaky. That's sped up? Uh, it is sped up a tad, yeah. This is the Russian segment looking at the various modules down in the docking department up to the newest module called MRM-2 and then turning around through the functional cargo block and then see the guys doing a little work uh, getting prepped for their spacewalks. On through the lab by the space potty there. See the guys into node two, getting closer to where we're docked to the station. We'll look uh, right into to, to the Columbus module, and then back to the left, we're we'll looking at the Japanese experimental module. And then we'll turn our way around and then back through the shuttle's airlock, which is where we obviously docked to the station. Making a lot of turns into the mid deck. See our commander there doing some water ops. Up to the flight deck. And all told, it's you know, longer than a football field, so quite a, quite a lot of ground we covered there in about uh, 20 seconds. So we were getting ready for our three spacewalks for the mission, and you can see us moving one of those spacewalk suits. We call that an EMU, that big white suit that we wear when we go outside, uh, into the airlock and getting ready. And then uh, here uh, we are just about to start suiting up for EVA number one. First spacewalk, there's me getting in my suit. Bobby's getting his helmet on there. And EVA stands for extravehicular activity. That's what, that's what we call spacewalks. So uh, we get in these suits, and uh, everybody checks to make sure they're all latched and, and buttoned up real tight. And we go outside. And uh, on EVA number one, our first goal was to uh, take this spare antenna that we had taken up in our payload bay and transfer that over to the space station. So... That's me down in the payload bay, um, taking the, un loosening the bolts on this antenna, and Bobby's coming over. He's riding the end of the robotic arm there, and he's coming down into the payload bay so he can take this antenna once it's unbolted and transport it over to the space station. Butch and Leland are working hard there on the video game, driving him around. Here's Bobby taking hold of that thing and moving away and then I met him over on the other side, on the space station side, and we bolted it in, and there's a great view of Bobby. Yeah, so Randy was inside kind of directing all of this and uh, coming up on the uh, robotic arm where we were actually uh, doing some lubing, putting some grease in there so that uh, you can see the wire mechanism moving there. But this gives you... a sense of what it looked like outside. It's uh, in outer space, it's actually vacuum, so there's no air. That's why we have to get into the uh, space suits for the, for the space walks. But it's a really spectacular view. And there I am again, uh, doing the same thing over on another robotic arm. And that was uh, the first spacewalk. And then the second spacewalk was uh, Mike and I going out, my first time. Um, and you see uh, how much effort it takes, a couple people to suit us up each time, get our tools on us, get prepped to go outside the door. Uh, our second spacewalk was moving some antennas around, doing some more work with our uh, 